What's going on, my friends? It's me, it's Ken Pierce. We are at the Art Expo New York. Pier 36, and check this out. This is the Hinono Gallery. So what is the Hinono Gallery? Well, Jordana Hinono is gonna tell us all about it, and well, to say she's got a lot of stuff here would be an understatement. <laughs> Jordana, hi, what's going on? Talk to me, bring me hello, through the- Hello, hello. Bring me through all of the magic that you got going so, on here. Hinono at this. Gallery is owned by me, Jordana. Not, and and guess, guess how old she is? She is 47 years old. No, I'm just kidding. She's 19, 19, folks. What was I doing at 19? I don't want to tell you on a video. So let's go through everything. Okay. Sorry, uh, I have to be a little silly sometimes. No, it's good, it's good. You need that in life. You do. Um, this is really great. So talk to me, how, okay. how did you start a gallery so, of all things? The gallery is my way into shows. I didn't want to wait for other galleries to apply to these shows. I have ambition and I wanted to do it on my own. I don't want to wait for other people. And they say if you want it, you want something done right, do it yourself. See that she's right. She's absolutely go. right. And when you have a thousand paintings here, it's easy <laughs> to do this. Pretty much, pretty much. I paint on literally all my free time. Wow. So, so let's talk about some of it. Okay. So summer of 2019, I took a course at SBA while I was in high school, uh, figure painting and figure drawing, and I got into new painting, but I didn't follow through with it until this painting. This was my quarantine project here, and um, really I was just trying to master the female form. Um, and then after this piece, I knew I was an artist. I haven't stopped painting since then. Um, this is another example. This is a more recent piece here of, of um, my female form. So and I love the blue. That's yes. Blue is blue. my favorite color. Me too. Me too. Yeah. A lot of my paintings I use either blue backgrounds, blue highlights. You can see it here. Uh, this piece is called Love Hurts. So what I tell people is, if you want it to be sad, you could leave it like this. But if you want it to be happy, switch them around and they're facing each other. Wow. So How clever is that? Yeah, interesting painting. So see, my friends, you need to buy both of the pieces. <laughs> well, Simple. it comes as a set. It comes as a set. See? What am yeah. I even talking about? Um, and I really started experimenting with mixed media. So on this piece, you can see here, I sewed on a fragile sticker. These are fake bullets, um, mirrors, the butterfly. Then afterwards, I started getting into sourcing crystals. And so- Oh, we're going in here. Beads, um, and then we have some more over there. Jordana has gotten every section of this booth locked away. I love it. And this Pretty is yours much. too? This is mine as well. Uh, this is Marilyn Monroe. It says, keep smiling because life is a beautiful thing and there's so much to smile about. That's a really super positive kind of thing. It is. Memorize that, my friends. Memorize that. <laughs> this is actually sustainable art. So I found this mirror on the street and it was yellow, kind of rusty, and I repurposed it along with this table as well. This table I found on the street as well and painted it. Um, I also got into abstracts for a while, so this is my take on Picasso's work. Very inspired by him as well. And then over here, so I'm a student at Hunter College and part of my experience as an art student is taking art history. Um, so this is uh, Birth of Venus, so this is my take on the Birth of Venus. And also same concept with the hand placing with crystals. This is a piece that everyone asks about. <laughs> Be naked when I get home. It's a fun piece. It's, it's, a fun, it's piece. fun. Yeah. Um, I actually went to Israel this summer and there was a big sign in a club that said be naked when I get home and as soon as I got home I was so inspired to put that on a piece. I'm not going to say anything else on that part, no. <laughs> um, this here is a collaboration with another artist. So I sketch out the entire drawing on an iPad and 
This card is handcrafted by someone else uh, with the concept of pintalism. And then I hand place all of the crystals. Wow. Are we? And then here we have me experimenting with diamond dust Ooh. and dallops of paint along with this. So this is also mixed media. And this I made during, um, I mean, it's still going on, but Ukraine and Russia, the war. So love is the answer with a war scene. Awesome. And that's it. That's it. Not that it was an it. This is like, <laughs> wow. Yes. Yeah, Look not. at this. So my friends, if you want to know about a 19 year old person who wants to make you feel like you're standing still, this is it. Jordana got some amazing stuff. This is, this is just great. This Thank is just you. great. You're charming, wonderful to talk to you. Thank is you. It, so this is your first art expo then? Uh, so I exhibited at um, Aqua Art during Basel Week, uh, Winwood, the Winwood Show. I actually just came back from Italy. I was displaying in Venice uh, two and a half weeks ago. And yeah, uh, busy bee, busy bee. So yeah, this is my first art expo show. But I've done other shows. In the Sweet. This is great. I'm going to let you get back to the business of selling art and talking to people. So, hey, you all know how this works. You're going to do that. Subscribe to the channel. You're going to click the notification bell to be aware of when the new stuff comes up. And if you have something topical to add to the mix, you will like and comment on the video. As always, I remain your humble narrator, Ken Pierce, Piercing Ken Channel. We'll see you next time. More from the Art Expo as we go along. Cheers.